Team Adra, the unmanned aerial system team of SETS VIT chapter from VIT University. Our team consists of 22 talented undergraduate students belonging to four engineering disciplines, namely mechanical, electrical, computer science and management. This is our first attempt in the unmanned aerial system competition conducted by AUVSI. System Overview Adra, the very first fixed wing project of ZPIT, is a fully autonomous UAS designed specifically according to the SUAS competition mechanical system. Since this is our maiden attempt in the competition, we decide to work off with the official FPV My Twin Dream. Compresses of four parts, two wings, fuselage and a tank, which is composed of EPO foam. Our design engineer created the CAD model of the plane in SOLIDWORKS by reverse engineering. The necessary structure and stress analysis were performed on ANSYS software. Based on the results obtained, reinforcements were installed on certain parts of the plane such as tail, wings and a belly, extra using foam tag and fibre tail using strong adhesive. Customized gimbal was designed and fabricated according to our team. It has one axis of rotation. The mount is made up of ABS plastic. The motion is smooth and protects the GoPro from external factors. We have also designed an ejection mechanism for air delivery tasks using 3D printed parts and fins were calculatively designed to ensure safe landing. Fixop 2.4.7 is a state of art flight controller. It uses ARM processor and has several onboard sensors. The plane uses Odroid for heavy processing and big size transmission. It has suitable choice as it consumes low power. The system uses Ubiquiti Nano Loco M5 and a high transmission rate and a small size which makes it a suitable fit. Under the antenna, RFD 900 Plus is used to transmit and receive telemetry data. It has good transmission rate and the feed is mostly lag free. The system also uses FlySky TH9XB mode to transmit the receiver pad which is used for powering system. Powering system can be divided into two parts based on primary and auxiliary battery. The primary battery is 4 cell 16,000 mAh battery which uses used to power 900 kV BLDC motor through 40 ESC, pick sock and control surface also. A 4 cell 2800 mAh auxiliary battery powers the Odroid and antenna. The imagery camera GoPro Hero 5 comes with its own battery and has a battery life of around 60 minutes thus making it suitable for the mission.
imaging system. For the imaging system, two cameras are being used. We chose GoPro Hero 5 Black for our primary camera as it is compact and lightweight. We will be triggering the camera to send 1080p video once the plane enters the search area with the help of onboard processor. This resolution is enough for us to detect and classify objects. For FPV, we will be using Logitech C270 HD webcam. The FPV footage can be accessed at any time at 480p resolution in case we need to take over manually. Developmental Testing Testing is one of the most crucial part of any project. For SUAS, our team implemented various testing methodologies to guarantee safe and proper function of the UAS. Obstacle Avoidance To accomplish the task of obstacle avoidance, the team adopted a variant rapidly exploring random T algorithm called RRT star algorithm. To test the capabilities of the algorithm, a Pi game stimulation was first developed, after which it was integrated with the machine planner. The algorithm checks if an obstacle lies between the path connecting two SQL waypoints. If a collision is detected, the RRT star algorithm finds an optimal path around this obstacle. We are highly confident in avoiding the stationary obstacle. The dynamic obstacles are thicker, hence we will be attempting with a low conflict. The testing was done in two stages. First stage, using SITL, numerous stimulated machine were performed with a multiple number of obstacles. Stationary object obstacles were avoided 83%. Moving obstacle avoided 19%. Second stage, flight testing. The path planning algorithm was first tested on a secondary plane and then finally tested on a primary plane. Secondary obstacle avoided 79%, moving obstacle avoided 10%. Detection and classification performance. Initial testing of the algorithm for detection, classification and localization of an image was done based on previous year competition photos. The test images were also taken from the onboard camera during the test flights. Maximally stable extremal region algorithm is used to identify the objects and crop them. Shapes and character are recognized using templates and other feature. The characters are predicted with 70% accuracy, shape and color with 80%. The GPS location is calculated by extracting the EXI data from the image, the plane heading and the GPS coordinate of the plane. The GPS location was correct within an average of 30 feet. Air delivery. The final task to be accomplished by Adra is the air delivery task. The ejection mechanism consists of base made of PLA plastic attached to the plane. As the servo rotates, the push rod gets displaced from its slot, thus dropping the payload. To ensure the bottle is protected during the flight, it is held by PLA plastic in casing. Fins are attached at the bottom so that the bottle link faces ground while falling. As the bottle reaches the ground, the impact breaks open the bottle and water splatters on the ground. The exact timing to eject the payload is calculated using algorithm which takes into consideration several factors like instantaneous velocity, height, wind speed to calculate the time of ejection. The functioning was tested by marking waypoints in Pixar so that the servo movements start allowing the payload to detach. Off axis detection The camera mount was customized, designed and 3D printed to perform off axis detection. It has two axes of rotation controlled by servo motor. The motion is smooth and protects the GoPro from external factor. The functioning of gimbal was tested virtually using SITL software.
autonomous flight and waypoint cap accuracy. The autonomous flight test was conducted after successful completion of manual test on the prototype and main plane. Initially, the SITL software was used extensively with the mission planner. Once we gained enough confidence, we went ahead with the manual testing of our plane. We were able to capture nearly 100% of the total number of waypoints autonomously during our flight hours. Here, we are showing one of our test flights for autonomous waypoint capture. Adra has been tested extensively to meet the competition requirements and accomplish the task. With the result uptime, we plan on securing a spot in the top 20 ranks. This being our first attempt, we are all geared up and ready to see you in Maryland.